Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and another volume of my Central Film Reviews collection. The past is just a story that we tell ourselves. Following his previous collaborations with Charlie Kaufman and Dave Eggers, Her was Spike Jones' first solo screenplay and one which earned him his first Oscar success in 2014 for Best Original Screenplay. Her is certainly original in every sense and equally highly prescient in the overriding themes it tackles of an ever-increasing technologically connected world but one in which human beings are more and more disconnected from ourselves, each other and of the day-to-day -day reality of the real world and of our marriage to laptops, computers and smartphones that despite the great advantages these pieces of technology provide also erect tangible barriers that these technological advances create. But despite our and the film's over-dependency on the technology that surrounds and envelops us, her has a real human story at its heart, two brilliant central performances set amid vivid and crystal clear cinematography from director of photography Hoyt van Hoytema and a beautiful accompanying musical soundtrack from Canadian indie rock band Arcade Fire. The film is set in a near future, but rather than flying cars being the overall signifier of a said near future, it is technologically driven, and rather than today's fast becoming obsolete practice of interacting with busy fingers on a laptop or smartphone screen, everything is voice activated with audio directly into the ears via a smart earbud. Life in her is seemingly familiar to today, However, in Spike Jones's view of a near future, many people have invested in a brand new all-purpose OS or operating system that they remain connected to throughout the day. Thus, people of the near future seem to be constantly talking to themselves, however they're connected to and interacting with their OS, which the developers are keen to reinforce in their advertisements, is not just an operating system, but a consciousness. The OS actively develops and evolves with human interaction and experience, quickly becoming more and more human-like while blurring the lines between flesh and blood human beings and a complex computer operating system. Fresh from his Oscar-nominated performance in Paul Thomas Anderson's magnificent The Master, Joaquin Phoenix turns in yet another pitch-perfect performance in a leading role here as Theodore, a highly regarded love letter writer Letter Writer 612 for BeautifulHandwrittenLetters.com He may regard his pieces as just letters, however it's quickly and evidently established that Theodore knows the recipients of his letters very well, indeed having written on behalf of the same people for many, many years. Casting aside the disconnected aspect of this practice, for human disconnection runs as a constant theme throughout the film. It's more evident that Theodore himself is disconnected from the world, ostensibly stuck in his semi-futuristic cubicle, dictating love letters that, albeit heartfelt, are simply a daily task that leaves him somewhat unfulfilled. Theodore is clearly depressed, and together with a feeling of being disconnected and distant from the world he is struggling to adapt to single life, and with an impending divorce on the horizon from his best friend, and childhood sweetheart Catherine, Rooney, Mara. Through intermittent flashbacks we discover a happy, contented and playful Theodore, enjoying life and marriage, but this is far from the present day picture painted of him. Now alone and lonely in his sumptuous apartment overlooking the city, his distant stares of longing are evident constantly as he searches for meaning in his life as well as companionship and love. His small circle of friends include his obvious soulmate and long-term platonic friend Amy, Amy Adams, her husband Charles, Matt Letcher, and work friends Paul, Chris Pratt, and Lumen, Luca Jones. But Theodore is desperately lonely, disconnected and desperate, and with his head turned by the advertisements for the interactive operating systems, he purchases a new friend. With the impending divorce and only Amy for a real friend in which to confide, 
Theodore slips further and further away from the real world and into an interactive computer world with Samantha, voiced by Scarlett Johansson. And despite not believing I'm having this conversation with my computer, he slowly falls in love with his computer operating system. In a film of such few main characters, two characters and performances stand out, and as alluded to previously, Joaquin Phoenix is magnificent yet again. The character actor of his generation, he just infuses every character he plays with such verve that he defies you to look away from the screen and dare to miss any part of his performances. And again here he takes a somewhat indifferent and exhausted character and injects him with such love and affection that we overlook his faults and his frailties. Theodore is such a layered character, disconnected, indifferent, unhappy and feeling that life has almost passed him by and that he'll never feel anything new again. But he's also joyous, self-deprecating, selfless and kind. Brilliantly written by Spike Jones and a character magnificently realised yet again by Joaquin Phoenix. Similarly, Amy Adams continues to produce character performances that surprise and delight in equal measure, as she follows her recent excellent performances in American Hustle and The Master, with a nuanced portrayal of Amy here. Stifled by a selfish and self-absorbed husband, she is clearly Theodore's soulmate and friend in need, since becoming fr firm friends in college. They may not be romantically linked, but they're almost mirror characters in a way, and never more presciently than Amy's scathing yet amusing outburst that love is like a socially acceptable form of insanity. How would she feel then if she discovered that her best friend had fallen in love with his computer operating system? Her was lauded at the 2014 Oscars with three further nominations in addition to Spike Jones's win for Best Original Screenplay. The film itself was nominated for Best Film of the Year, and although director of photography Hoyt van Hoytema was not individually recognised for his achievements, it is to him that a large part of the credit must be paid for producing such a clean, clear, crisp and visually stunning near future. In league with director Jones they have both envisioned a near future akin to today's experience, but with a heightened sense of the all-pervasive technological advances in a cleaner, brighter world. The colour palette is bright, the visuals pinprick sharp, and the film gains much from Van Hoytema's brilliantly captured skylines, sunsets, sunrises and wide-angled cityscape shots. K.K. Barrett was also deservedly nominated for his production design which brilliantly complemented the, vis the visual aesthetics of the near-future vision of the director and two further Oscar nominations were awarded for the film's wonderful musical score accompaniment. Firstly, Will Butler of Arcade Fire fame and Owen Pallett were nominated for their original music written directly for a film and their compositions of gentle, string, piano and mellotron ballads are simply beautiful and the soundtrack is a pure joy and highly recommended. Secondly, Moon Song written by director Jones and Karen O, oh, appears twice in the film and was rightly nominated for Best Original Song and is a beautifully moving piece of music that also accompanies the film's closing credits. Her is a highly original film in every sense, tackling highly prescient issues while shining a light on a disconnected future that is fast arriving in spades, accompanied by a brilliant soundtrack and two stellar central performances. The film is often melancholic, but please don't overlook either the joyous nature intermingled here, or indeed the comedic twists provided by a horrendous blind date, a foul-mouthed alien voiced by the director, or Theodore's desperate use of an internet chat line. Just don't mention cats, okay? 2021 Postscript this article was originally published exactly 7 years and 15 days ago. Read her pain and shudder at where we were technologically just 7 years ago. And then tell Alexa to play you some Radiohead 
whilst you check your Facebook feed. See you in another seven years. And that was her from 2013, directed by Spike Jones. And I leave you in peace and in solidarity. And I thank you so, so, so sincerely for watching. Please be careful out there, everyone. Peace.